them back come back again today with another 17 reaction for you guys and today i'm going to be doing an album first listen for semicolon and i am so excited because this is my first ever 17 album first listen and yeah i haven't got much else to say so let's just go okay guys just before we start a couple of disclaimers i will be cutting this for about five second, seconds five seconds <laughs> every 25 to 30 seconds just so that it doesn't get blocked and taken down companies do not like to have full albums like on youtube which is understandable um so these album first listens get blocked really easily so i'll be chopping it up like i said it won't be much but it has to be done i'm sorry i know it's annoying um second disclaimer is most of you if you're subscribed to me you already know this i don't like reading lyrics when i'm reacting to music and trying to take in music it distracts me so I'm just gonna literally gonna have my speaker on. I'm just gonna be vibing with the tunes and yeah. Okay, so first up is Home Run. Um, I don't skip tracks, even if I've already reacted to them. Um, I like the album to flow. So yeah, let's go, Home Run. Home run. I love that. Love that. Ah, I love that. I wanted to say this in my reaction to the MV, but when uh, when he goes, give it away, give it away, give it away, it's a it's a nod, kind of. I believe it's a nod to Red Hot Chili Peppers. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. If you're a Red Hot Chili Peppers fan, you will know that. It's so fucking cool. I'm so happy to hear that. Let's carry on. The piano chords? Stunning. The organ in the back. I love the clap as well on the beat. Can you hear it in the back? energetic song um, and so true to that 17 that 17 sound a lot of horns a lot of claps a lot of just happiness happiness 17 just what's the word I'm looking for I can't think of the word right now um, but 17 just makes me so fucking happy um, I love the piano um, in this there were some really really nice piano chords in the pre-chorus um, and in the middle eight with some really nice uh, piano chords also there was some organ I think that came in in the second verse and if you could hear it in the back like church organ um, I'm not I don't know I'm not that great with instruments and stuff I just know what I like but I believe it's like you know an organ um, I love that sound it makes things sound uh, soulful 
soulful maybe i'm not sure but it just i just love that sound i can imagine home run just being absolutely insane live i really want to see 17 live and i really really want to see them perform this live it oh my god do you know what would be really fucking cool if they did like the clapping live like a little bit of tap dancing or something and a bit of clapping that would be really fucking cool but anyway let's go on to the next track okay so now we have do re mi love that Going, dun, 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 dun. That is so nice. Let's run that back. with just little quirky sounds and instruments here and there i really 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 love the use of the guitar in this um my favorite bit hands down though has to be that middle eight bro i couldn't exactly work out what i was hearing like what what, what instruments what this what that but that did dun dun, dun dun that was so nice and the bass that came in and there were some really 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 nice chord sequences um, I absolutely love that. That's my favourite one so far. Wait, how many have I heard? Two. <laughs> just two. Yeah, just two, but surely that's going to be one of my favourites. It has to be. That's literally one of my favourite 17 tracks that I've heard. Oh, also, um, a lot of people don't like auto-tune or like voice effects. Um, however, I do. I like them when they're used tastefully and well, and I really, really, really like the, the voice effects on this. I don't know, it added an extra bit of quirkiness to it, and it really sounded really good. Um, also, just their singing in general is absolutely incredible. What I'm going to do later, obviously, is I'm going to listen again um, with colour-coded lyrics, either look them up on Google while I'm listening so I can read along, 
or on like a lyric video or something so I can see who's singing which parts um, obviously so that I know but for now I just want to take in the music I'll be distracted otherwise but I will be doing that later let's go on to the next track okay so now we have hey buddy that's what I say to my dog hey buddy oh, oh how 17 of them again those forms very funky That guitar, very James Brown. More open. love that that was so funky and so soulful um, it was reminiscent of that James Brown funky sound I absolutely love it 17 do funky and soulful music really 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 well they really pull it off the horns that guitar oh absolutely stunning it was so energetic as well it made me literally made me want to get up and start dancing it's not your typical gym song um, I don't know if you guys saw me, um, saw my community post, I said let's make a playlist which I actually have to update, sorry guys. Um, it's not your typical gym playlist but it's gonna have to go on my gym playlist, that just made me feel so energised. Again, their vocals, their rapping, they're just absolutely incredible, I'm so impressed right now. I'm only like halfway through and this is, this is 100% gonna make it into my top albums of this year, it has to. Absol I'm so fucking impressed and happy right now. 17! Let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, so next is Light a Flame. Cheap. 
a very British word I don't know if anyone <laughs> if anyone's gonna know what I mean by saucy um, it was spicy it was flavoursome it was oh it was very sexy uh, I'm kind of wishing and hoping there might be a choreograph choreography for this something sensual a little bit of salsa um, is it salsa Sa I don't, I'm not sure <laughs> what it is Flamenco. Listen, the sexy dancing, okay? The sexy dancing. I love the jazzy influences in it as well. I thought I, I thought it was double bass that I could hear, but I'm not sure actually. The bass, the riff in this was, oh, that was my favorite part. It was just so fucking nice. Bro, that was just fire, bro. That was so good. Their voices as well. Oh, I'm really starting to hear their individual tones, which is really why, which is why I'm really looking forward to seeing, reading the lyrics. Um, but I'm starting to recognize their individual tones and the color, the, their vocal colors. Um, they're such good fucking singers, man. And rappers, but even the rappers, like, oh, man. Next song. Okay, so now we have, ah, oh, love. I love 17. <laughs> you hear that fourth chord D no no I swear to god I hope you have your headphones your earphones in did you hear that fourth chord that voice medication? listen oh it's gonna do it again isn't it ready for you I don't know if it's a guitar, a synth, or it's like a voice manipulation, like a a, a voice that's been like um, worked on, fiddled with. Can you hear it in the back? That sounds so good. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I swear to God, I'm not over exaggerating. This is about to be one of my favorite tracks this year. Oh, 17. Oh, 
Who's singing now? Oh! Who is that with the sweet voice? Who is that with the sweet voice? Is a hard cold case of mother fucking snakery. You have snake no one. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> my elbows are a bit ashy. Sorry, guys. Listen, nah, all jokes aside, nobody warned me about that track. Oh, oh. That is one of the best 17 tracks I've. Oh, you do not understand. Well, you probably do understand because you stand 17, but nah, that is oh, I absolutely love that from start to finish. I'm not going to talk much about it because I already spoke too long, too many pauses and shit. Um, but that, oh, bro, who is the dude with the sweet voice in the second verse, bro? Let me know. That was, oh, bro, the chord, the chords in the start, bro, that fourth chord. next track bro that is one of my favorite tracks of this year hands down next track okay so the last track is all my love more love more love i will give you all my love 17 <laughs> That sounds 
just like hold on those chords just before the transition into the chorus i don't know i think it might be fender Rhodes. um i need to listen like with my earphones on um, i tell you guys to put your earphones and headphones this speak is still good um but to really pick up what i'm hearing i need my headphones in um, but i think it might be fender Rhodes, which is my favorite instrument <laughs> It is. That is the Fender Rhodes. If you don't know what the Fender Rhodes is, it's an electric piano. Um, used a lot in R&B, was used a lot in the 70s. Um, that is definitely a Fender Rhodes. <laughs> that was many places in the back. Very 17 sounding. That was such a beautiful song. Oh my God, that was so nice. Oh my God, I know for a fact, when I hear that song again later, I'm gonna probably cry. I'm surprised I didn't cry then. That is just, oh my God, that song made me feel warm and cozy inside. Honestly and truly, again, it had a lot of um, signature 17 sounds. I've said this before, um, but 17 really stay true to their sounds, even when they change up, mix up the vibes and the genres. I think because uh, Woozy is so involved and um, uh, Bumju, um, he's like involved with the production and stuff. I, I feel like it, you know, you get the signature sounds that they use quite often in their songs. Um, by sounds, I mean like instruments, effects, and stuff like that. Like that voice manipulation in the chorus. By voice manipulation, I mean like that voice chop, that sample um, that's fiddled with, and it almost sounds like an instrument, but it's not. It's like. <laughs> now, those chords um, in the pre chorus, just before the transition into the chorus. Um, Bro, that was Fender Rhodes, those chords were so nice, I was like, mmm, delicious, yummy. And I said to you, I said to you, those uh, that instrument is usually used in R&B, um, and then, bam, with the middle eight, the C section, the bridge, um, you got that the Fender Rhodes back in with some really, really nice chords, and it gave it like an R&B, um, an R&B vibe, the middle eight. And then into the last chorus, there was some really nice ad-libs in the back, um, you could hear this vocal, I don't know if it was DK that was just going off in the back, um, but they were quite R&B influenced, I feel. Um, that was just such a pretty song. So nice. Oh yeah, the synths in the chorus as well, that dun, dun. Oh, so nice. And yeah, what a first 17 album first listen. Um, let me pick my top three. Top three. Ah, love. Number one. Hands down. Number two, All My Love. And number three is probably gonna be Do Re Mi. Mm. Yeah, that's my top three. Our Love, All My Love, then Do Re Mi. Please let me know your top three in the comments. And yeah, my next 17 reaction um, will not be next week, the week after. You guys know it's every other week. And I'll be doing a um, 17 uh, live singing compilation. Um, I'm not sure if the one that I have is good. Um, I'm gonna send it to you guys on Discord and see if it's good. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Go and follow me on Instagram, guys. Go and follow me on Twitter. Follow everyone back on Twitter so we can be mutuals. And yeah. No, I'm not following everyone back anymore. I can't. I, oh, I can't stop saying it. I'm not following everyone back. I'm sorry, but my DMs are, <laughs> my DMs are open. And I've like replied to all of your tweets when I can. And yeah. 
Goodbye.